Good morning class, it's me Mr Knight and today we're going to be carrying on with our topic of ancient Egyptians but today we're going to be doing another science lesson we're going to be learning how the Egyptians mummified their pharaohs now we haven't got a body to mummify so we're going to have to do it on an apple For this experiment you'll need some table salt Some bicarbonate of soda, a knife, one sharpie, some plastic cups or something similar and of course you will need your apple. You will also need a set of scales and a mixing bowl and I recommend you put your aprons on this today as well because we might get a little bit messy. Using the table grip that you learnt in DT, I want you to carefully cut through the middle of the apple. I don't want to see anyone doing anything like this. Nice bridge and you go straight through the middle of the apple. Just like that. And then you're going to cut one of the halves into quarters. And you're going to do this again by making the same bridge, like a Lego man hand, cut safely through the middle. Once you've safely cut your apples and put the knife away, what I want you to do is take a sharpie and on one of your quarters I want you to write the letter A and on the other quarter I want you to write the letter B. For now, we're not going to be needing the half of the apple, but we're going to use that later, so put that somewhere safe. Firstly, pour 80 grams of table salt into the bowl. Then, add 40 grams of baking soda. Then all you need to do is mix the baking soda and the table salt together in a bowl. Now this is the important part of our science experiment. Firstly I want you to switch your set of scales on so we're reading zero and I want you to weigh each piece of apple. So I want you to weigh A and on mine that weighs 37 grams and I want you to weigh B and on mine that weighs 43 grams and I'm going to record this in my books so I can check to see the results in a week's time. Take your paper cups and put sample A in one of them and sample B in the other. Now with one of these samples I want you to take your bowl of salt and, and bicarbonate of soda and pour it over one of the apples like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our two apple samples A and B somewhere safe and dry so we're not going to put them in a fridge because it's too cold we're not going to put them somewhere damp somewhere nice and dry and we're going to keep them there for a week and after that we're going to weigh both A and B and see which one is the lightest. Now, one of your samples, the one without the, um, the salt and the bicarbonate soda, should rot and decompose. And then we'll see if the other one has successfully been mummified. And then we're going to look at results and make observations of the different sort of textures and colours and any process that's changed to the appearance of the apple. Finally, one last part of the experiment, we're going to take the other half the apple, the half we haven't used, and I want you to take your sharpie and I want you to draw a face on him. Once you've done that, I want you to put him inside the bowl and pour another amount of salt and bicarbonate soda all over him. 
Now he's going to be our Egyptian pharaoh and we are going to be mummifying him but we're also going to be embalming him and we're going to look at different rituals and beliefs next week where we're going to dig him back out so we can give him a proper burial.